Okay, good morning, folks. Welcome to episode two of season two of the Candida Q&A. And as usual, there is a disclaimer in the video description. Before watching the video, please go and read the disclaimer. Now, the question that I'm going to answer today is a very interesting question. And it, and it goes like this. What is the most important thing in a Candida diet for a vegan? Very interesting. So in this round here, in this season two, I got lots of questions from vegans. So I really want to nail this down in a very interesting way. So vegans in a candida diet they should pay particular attention to do to two specific amino acids which are sometimes low in a vegan diet. So these two amino acids which is an amino acid is the building block of a protein. So these two amino acids are lysine and methionine. So these are two essential amino acids, which means that your body cannot produce them. You must take them through the diet. OK, so grains, which are usually used in um, in the vegan diet, they tend to be low in lysine, while legumes are low in methionine. Both lysine and methionine, they are paramount for you to be healthy in your candida journey. So. As a vegan person, the first thing that you really need to think about when it comes to your to your candida journey is to understand that you should really be able to combine proper properly non gluten grains. Absolutely important non gluten grains and some legumes or even better because uh, legumes it's really not clear if you should or you should not have plenty of legumes in the candida journey, probably not plenty. Can you have some? Probably yes, but it's probably not the best food. So maybe like a vegan protein powder coming from, for example, peas could be a better option than actually eating the legumes. But nevertheless, you need to have lysine and you need to have methionine. Why? Because you need to remember one thing that what is preventing you from getting worse in your candida journey? It's obviously your immune system and your immune system does absolutely need amino acids for it to function. And it does need essential amino acids such as methionine and lysine. There is no escape. This is a paramount must. On top of this, for your immune system to work properly, you also need something else. This is a nice slide of the immune system. As you can see, the immune system is mainly made of different kind of cells. Now, when your immune system is fighting against an infection such as candida, these cells of the immune system, they must replicate. So one cell becomes two, the two become four, then four, they become eight and so on and forth. So for you to be able to have this right replication, you need few things. The first thing that I said, basically cells, are largely made of proteins. So if you want a cell to function properly, that cell will require protein. So we have already covered proteins and amino acids. So once you get the right amount of protein every single day with the two essential amino acids, which are usually critical for a vegan person, lysine and methionine, you are golden. Now for a cell to replicate, you also need obviously energy, which means that your candida diet should give you enough energy to support the immune system for it to replicate. OK, so right amount of calorie, right amount of, of protein, right amount of amino acids. Finally, you absolutely need some essential cofactors, which are zinc, magnesium, selenium, molybdenum, B vitamins and so on. These are absolutely needed, like also vitamin C. These are absolutely needed because when the cells of your immune system are replicating, they need cofactor for the replication to work properly. All of these elements put together are going to be absolutely paramount in your journey against Candida as a vegan person. So with this out of the way, again, the Q&A is designed to give you like quick videos, quick short videos. So I'm going to stop here. If you want something more technical, please, in the video description, you have access to a free webinar. This free webinar is going to teach you the five crucial mistakes that you're probably going right now in your, your journey against Candida. You need to be aware of these five mistakes because they can be the difference between succeeding and failing. 
That's enough for this video here. This is Nicola Zanetti signing off. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. If you have liked the video, please like this video here and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Please always remember that your true health is the actual true wealth.